Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict, and we've been doing a lot of testing on the DeWalt 1800 watt portable power station and parallel battery charger. This is model number DCB1800, and this unit takes four 20 volt DeWalt batteries and turns that into 120 volt AC power, 3600 peak watts, 1800 continuous watts, 15 amps of output, and that's done in a modified sine wave. So you're fine to use this uh, with any of your variable speed power tools, no issue. Now, uh, this unit is available as a bare tool or also in a kit. And one of the more popular kits that we're seeing right now is one flex volt battery and three four amp hour batteries. And that kit kind of brings something to light that this unit is only as strong as its weakest link. So that one flex volt battery in here is not gonna give you any more power than if you had four, four amp hour batteries. So the smallest battery or the least charged battery that you have in this kit will determine how long everything runs. So that kit that we mentioned is a great way to pick up one flex volt battery, but it's not gonna increase the runtime on this unit here. So let's go into exactly how it works. To use this device as a power supply, you push the power button and there will be a long beep. That beep lets you know it's ready to go. Simply plug in your tool and you're ready to use it, no issue. When you're done, you can unplug the tool and then again push the power button and it'll turn itself off. It's ready for transport or whatever you want to do with it. To use this as a charger, just plug in your extension cord here and you'll get flashing lights that'll tell you the batteries are charging or if there's an overheat delay and it'll let the batteries cool down before it starts charging. Charge time on this is approximately two hours for all four four amp hour batteries and if you had four flex volt batteries in there that are currently the six amp hour ones, it's going to take you just about three hours. That's charging everything at uh, two amps. So it does take a little bit of time, even though it is charging each battery at the same time. Also note that when this unit is plugged in and charging the batteries, it is not able to be used as a power source. So you either have to use this as a power source or use it as a battery charger separately. So our goal in this video was to answer those questions that you had in this. A lot of people came out on social media and says, what will this do? So we started out with a lot of your questions trying to answer them. First, we went with the kit and we used the one flex volt battery, three four amp hour 20 volt batteries and went after a 6.5 horsepower shop vac, something that you would have in your shop normally. Just ran that to give us a time of what that will be continuous. And that came out to be 17 minutes and 30 some seconds of use. Towards the end of it, you can see the lights start flashing, giving you the idea that, hey, there is a low battery alert coming up. Now there's also an audible beep that you'll hear um, along with that. So if you're using it, if you're not looking at the system, you'll hear the beep. Uh, from there, we kind of dumped the four amp hour batteries and went all the flex volt. And the reason we did that is because most people out there wanted to see what will this do in its max capacity. And currently the six amp hour flex volts are it. Um, so we went right to a sump pump test. Thought that was interesting. How long will it last on a sump pump? So we went, uh, connected up a line, started feeding our sump pump uh, some serious water through a garden hose and let this thing run and run and run and run. And uh, there's no doubt that, depending on the amount of water that's gonna come in though, uh, but there's no doubt that you could run this all night on your sump pump, even in a rainstorm. This unit really seems to respond very well to power on and power off, like a, a tool that you're gonna use or turn a tool turning off. So the sump pump use was excellent, really, really long runtime. Uh, we got almost five hours of continually putting uh, water in our sump pump from a full garden hose and it running. So that was absolutely amazing. Charging up the flex volt batteries took three hours. We were right back at it. We used a Hobart Handler 140. That's a 110 watt uh, MIG welder, flux core. The job we're doing is way too big for this small welder, but we figured we'd get everything tacked in place. Um, on level four, which is its highest setting, we tripped this unit. So that's a 20 amp welder. So we kind of expected it. We were able to weld uh, consistently on level three without it tripping at all. 
and we were able to weld a lot. Uh, we were welding so much that we ran out of stuff to weld and we actually bumped over without charging the unit and started cutting with a seven and a quarter inch worm drive saw. We ended up getting 66 more cuts on a two by 12 before we got our first low battery warning. We weren't even continually run out of battery here. That was our first low battery warning. So the amount of actual power this produces on a job site is amazing. So to answer some more questions, we went over and hooked this up to our shop refrigerator. Somebody said, hey, this might be my inverter or my generator per se in the house. Uh, they're gonna use this as a backup battery source. Um, man, on the refrigerator, just absolutely amazed. We get 14 hours of runtime. Now this is all gonna depend on what's in your refrigerator, how much it needs to be cooled, was it you know, starting from already being cold, lots of variables here, but that gives you an idea of what four flex volt batteries will do in this power source. I really, really love the innovation that DeWalt put into this unit. In fact, this is one of my favorite innovative tools of 2016. It was a blast to test. It surprised me every time I turned around. And the one weird thing about this unit is it's quiet. It's completely quiet when it's in use. It's completely quiet when it's charging. Uh, you just don't even know it's running. And I have to apologize, some of the B-roll is probably a little boring to watch because you just don't see anything happening here. The, this tool is making everything else happen on the job site, and that's what makes this tool stand out. Stop by Workshop Addict. We have a blog and a forum. We'll have more on this over there. Also, follow us on social media. You would have had a chance to give some input on what we tested this unit out on, and also see us as we did it. Ask your questions, and we'll answer them in real time. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.